Now we've all been kind of indoctrinated by fairy tales. And in the fairy tale, the, the perfect prince, he comes on, of course, <laughs> the white horse. The all perfect prince comes on the white horse and he sees the maiden and blammo, it's love and it's happily ever after. <laughs> So we know about that part. <laughs> and then there are the slimy frogs. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to kiss the slimy frogs. <laughs> <laughs> and then, blammo, you kiss the right one, and he turns into the all-perfect prince. And you go happily ever after. But. I got to thinking about this and I thought, you know, all these fairy tales were written by men. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they got the key components all wrong. I really, really do. Yes, the white horse comes along. But who comes on the white horse? <laughs> it is the frog. <laughs> the frog comes to you on the white horse. Now, there are no perfect princes. No perfect princes. There are only frog princes. <laughs> of course, there are no perfect princesses, only frog princesses. Although, truly, from what I've learned in all the years that I've practiced is that people are really works of art in progress. They really are unpolished diamonds, and they're on their journey polishing themselves. <laughs>